What's up? My name is Annabeth, and I'm the one who runs this website. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I also take a lot of selfies. When the front-facing camera first became like a thing that everyone had, I was like 13 and I was fascinated. I took so many selfies that of course are really cringy now, but like at the time it was like I had this new way of expressing myself and I had cameras, I had taken pictures of myself before, but with the front-facing camera, I had so much control over the frame and how I presented myself. I could see what I looked like and I could make adjustments based on what I wanted to look like in the picture. And when you think about selfies that way, then the selfie as we know it today isn't all that different than the famous self-portraits hailed by historians and art snobs alike. The self-portrait has always been present in art history, and it makes sense. If you're first learning how to draw especially, like, Yourself is who you're the most comfortable with. All you need is a mirror. You can practice drawing yourself with as many references as many times as you want. I know I draw pictures of myself all the time. But if you look at these self-portraits from history, they do more than just recreate the look of the artist. They give us a little bit of the artist's story. The way they're framed, the clothes they're wearing, the colors. They tell us a little bit about the artist's life or who the artist was or what they were feeling. It's no different than me framing this image right now with my cool tapestry in the background um, so you know exactly how cool and into astrology I am. It's literally the same thing. And I know what you're thinking. Self-portraits aren't a girl thing. Guys do self-portraits too. And you're right. Self-portraits aren't a girl thing. But there's something very special about when a girl makes a self-portrait. Think about any random art museum. How many sculptures and paintings of naked women are there? Think about every dude bro photographer in your hometown who's trying to make it on Instagram. It's almost always just a guy with a really nice camera who takes like semi-nude photos of beautiful girls. And, you know, women can be art. I, I think women should be in art and I, I, I love drawing women. I love taking photos of women. I think that my friends are beautiful um, and I think I'm beautiful and I deserve to be put into art. But women don't have to just be muses, especially when historically women were kept from even learning how to paint or draw and then later how to use cameras. Then it's weird that the only time we have gotten to exist in the art world is through the lens of someone else. So when you draw or take a self-portrait, you're saying I get to decide what I look like and I get to decide how you see me. Um, and that's really cool. Because women are art, women can be art, but women are artists too, and girls are artists too. You don't have to be a dignified, sophisticated, grown woman. Like, the selfies you are taking in your bathroom right now matter. Like, that is you. That is who you are right now, and keep doing it. And sure, your selfie doesn't necessarily have to be art, but I challenge you to think of your selfie as art sometimes. Think of yourself as art sometimes. You know, don't just take selfies when you're wearing a lot of makeup or you've got your cute swimsuit on. Try documenting yourself when you don't necessarily feel pretty, but you like who you are, if that makes sense. Um, I know that sometimes I'm laying in bed and I have all these windows and the light's really pretty in my room and it's like, I'm not wearing any makeup and I know I just woke up and I look bad, but it's like, in this moment, I really like who I am and I want to document this part of who I am and I've, I've taken the occasional selfie in that moment. Um, think about the kind of art you like. It's not always beautiful, but there's something about it that you like looking at. Frida Kahlo, the queen of the self-portrait, she was not traditionally beautiful um, and she exaggerated that in her self-portraits. She exaggerated her um, mustache and her facial hair. She was very much aware that she did not look like the European romantic image of a woman in a painting. And she was still like, this is like, I have a face that deserves to be in art. So try doing something weird, try weird makeup, do something wild. Um, think about who you are. Think about like who you are. You know, what do you want people to know about you? What story do you want to tell? And how can you use the self-portrait to tell that story? Try thinking of yourself as a piece of art 
and not as an attractive person. Don't think of beauty in terms of what's attractive. Think of beauty like mountains and trees and, you know, all of those weird shapes and different colors that they just look nice. Think of yourself like that. You can be lovely to look at in all your weird, imperfect, moody, emo, non-emo, basic if you want to be basic, and self-gratuitous glory. Happy selfies, y'all.